All right, welcome back to Spy Fox and Cheese Chase, everybody. This will hopefully be the last uh, time we're streaming it, because we only have 20 levels left. I'm assuming. I actually don't know if there's only 100. That's just what I've heard. So, level 81. Let's see how things go. I'm glad to have my wheels back on the ground. So am I. The air levels are not much fun. Thanks for joining in, CRK, and have a fantastic night. Airborne Alley. Oh, hey, it's World 1 for the third time. Cool. So let's see how insanely difficult these levels get. We already had that in really crazy level 75. I hope they don't really get any harder than that. First, we gotta throw some pies at these street sweepers. It's harder than it looks. <laughs> or we can run them off the road, because we're heavier than they are. Oh, I need the bananas. Yay! I found another spy scooter just lying out, quack! <laughs> Oh, shoot. Apparently the street light will destroy you if you look at it the wrong way. That's just dandy. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. I wish there was an easier way of telling how far you're going to go when you go over a ramp. Because it is random each time. Out of my way, I have spy business to attend to. It does look a little painful, yeah. <laughs> Good night, Metaloid. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, it's. Ooh. <laughs> Between hitting a streetlight and hitting a pile of garbage, I'll run into the garbage. It is getting a little out of hand. <laughs> I should probably start shooting stuff. Okay, I guess the level just ended there. Sweet. Are we gonna have loading screens for every level? <laughs> Alibaba! Oh, uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, uh. Sorry, I ate a milkshake before doing this, and oh dear. Okay, this is this is getting crazy. Spy Fox drank too many milkshakes before this, just like butt butt, and now everything's lagging in in real life. By the way, don't touch the cakes; they explode for some reason. Out of my way, please. <laughs> I've got to find another weapon. I ran out of bananas. Uh-oh. Doggone it, the cakes still look like they're power-ups to me. If I'm not paying very close attention, my I just go out of my way and be like, It's cake! Grab it! <laughs> there we go. Bananas. Oh boy, another spy scooter! That guy had already... What on earth? <laughs> I shot one pie and three guys just crashed. I'll take it. <laughs> license to crash. Well, I hope we don't crash. Just because you have a license to do something doesn't mean it's what you should do. Apparently you can't drive over the sidewalk in this, otherwise you, uh, get vaporized. Okay, the... I, I do wish the hit detection was a little bit better. So many times the pies just go right through them. <laughs> it 
If you're willing to drive through garbage, you can get an extra weapon. <laughs> I'm not really willing to drive through garbage, though. Yeah. I love these goons who are like, well, like, literally every single other goon in the entire game crashed when they ran into Spy Fox, but I'll be the one to take him down. It's like, <laughs> statistically speaking, that's not, like... Excuse me. Whoa, 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 whoa! Huh, so what, what conversation topics should we talk about tonight? Because there's only so much I can comment on. Oh boy, Spy Fox is running through garbage yet again. Okay. The game really had to load for a long time to get the Shebane up in here. Last month of school, like, period? If so, congratulations. Ah, school is definitely something I do not miss. All those people who are like, oh man, high school is like the best years of your life. It's like, uh... I don't know if you had just a crazy good high school experience, or if the rest of your life is just very depressing, but... I can confidently say high school was probably my least favorite period of my life. Especially the first few years. Those are awful. But I feel like these days, like, every, every time I turn a year older, I get happier. It's just more stuff you can do. Oh, you're still in ninth grade? Ah. <laughs> well, I can't hit these road cones, but I can hit run into trash cans. Why do I always end up crashing right before the end of the level? You're going camping for the first time! Congrats, Eliop! Let me know how you... if you like it. Here in Michigan, I don't like camping, and that definitely makes me in the minority, because, like, camping's basically the national pastime. Camping and hunting, and they often go hand in hand, and I don't really care for either of them. When I was a kid, like, the only camping we really did is my church would have a father-son campout. And basically, it, it wasn't actually camping. We just went to someone's house and then set up tents in their yard. So it was not the same thing at all. I had fun doing that. But not so much because of the camping, it was more I had fun in spite of the camping. It's like, oh hey, I get to hang out with my friends from church. Oh, we have to sleep in a tent? Well, I mean, I guess we'll do it. It was alright. I could see the appeal of camping if you're going camping. Where, where did you where did you want me to go? Apparently there was a uh, thing that killed you if, if you hit it. Whoops. Oh sweet! I sniped I sniped that completely by accident. Maybe the best. What did I hit there? Do I have a dedicated goal in my life? I have several dedicated goals in my life. And none of them really have to do with my career. Which is always interesting if I get when I get job interviews. It's like, so, what are your career goals? It's like, my career goal is to get a job that I enjoy that pays well enough and to stay there. That is my goal. You lack ambition. No, I have ambition, just not really career-wise. I don't put all of my stock in my career. Again, what hit me? Was there a street light there that I didn't notice? There probably was. I'm noticing these... The levels in this game, it's oftentimes not intuitive what will just instant destroy you, and what will just, like, let you run through it, no problem. I'm just gonna avoid... I'm gonna avoid the cheese, Gromit. <laughs> oh, 
Oh boy, I landed on a fire hydrant, but don't worry. Nobody was hurt. Except the fire hydrant. <laughs> Out of my way. Spy Fox to the rescue. But if you're a villain, it won't be you who I'm rescuing. Okay. It's like a pile of trash up ahead, but we don't want to hit it head on. Okay. Oh my! It's always at the very end of the level they put in some dumb trap that you always end up being destroyed. <laughs> ah, well. All right, around the fountains. This one doesn't seem as bad. I've got an endless supply of rubber plungers, so we are good to go. Yeehaw! That's a good goal. It's always a good goal to have a positive impact on the lives of others. Doggone it! I keep forgetting about the streetlights. <laughs> Goon Raker. That's a good name for all. There's a bunch of fans where I'm like, oh, that would be cool to do. It's not like a I must do this in my life, but it's something that I'm like, eh, if I could do that, that would be pretty cool. It is good to have a goal and keep it in mind, though. Helps put life in perspective. I don't like that part. Oh, zigzagging between the fountain and the, uh... The fountain and the streetlight. That's tough. Dunk on it. So are the, all these... Ugh. None of these are as bad as level 75, but... Yeah, these, these levels... They, they're no joke. They are no joke. Maybe we won't be finishing this tonight. Yep, what? How, how many goons has Russian Blue hired at this point? She must have been spending a... How much money is she hoping to get out of this cheese? She must have spent a lot of money on goons and their motorcycles. I'm not, I'm not bothering to go over there. There you go. No! There you go. Out of my way! <laughs> Who's sending all these street sweepers after me? There we go. Level 86. Oh, a new world, apparently. A little water. Stop my spy scooter. Oh, are we just gonna do, like... Oh, remember the, like, free worlds in the game? Let's go back to them all again. Sailing in Shanghai. Why is... Okay, why is ScumVM just lagging tonight? They lag during backyard baseball, now it's lagging here. Well, the boat levels weren't too... Okay, this is getting ridiculous. The boat levels weren't too bad. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Poodles apparently just took out an ad like, hey, I'll pay you big bucks if you just slow down Spy Fox a tiny bit. And like 2,000 people were like, yeah, this sounds good. I get to be in an action movie. Oh my gosh! I'll say, the extra lives just seem like they're kind of lying out for the most part. Okay, this is getting absolutely ridiculous. I... 
What is going on with ScumVM? Don't run out of gas, please. Literally, like, every eight seconds, it lags and has to load something. This is, this is very dumb. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Totally tubular, bro! It's <laughs> a weird sound effect for a tire to make. Right out of Sockworks. Oh, I get it. Totally tubular, because we're, we're going past inner tubes. Oh, that's right. The piranha are enemies. And they're rather annoying enemies, too. That guy's just chilling in his own personal bathtub like, Ha, Spy Fox can't get me here. That's not fun. I do not like the piranha enemies. All right. I like how it has the uh, the car chase music from uh, Dry Cereal. That was a good song. Dry Cereal had good songs. All right. These levels seem easier than the city levels. Cool. Swamp Dane! That is not how you spell fame. I can't believe people just are leaving pies in crates all over the world for me to pick up. But I sure am lucky that this is the case. <laughs> Never mind the spy on the speedboat that's just passing by these fishermen. No need to contact the authorities about this. Those guys literally look like they're just basketballs that are fishing. <laughs> spy <laughs> Quack's like, I'm constantly making you new spy scooters and spy boats, and I get no thanks. <laughs> spy Fox, just you wait till hold the mustard. I don't know what that game's even about, but that's another game I haven't played. Oh, look! Yeah, they literally look like they're... They have basketballs or pumpkins for heads, and they're just fishing. Good for them, I guess? Basketball, basketball, we love basketball! No, they're dumping pies in the river, so that way I can use them as equipment. They are helping me out. Besides, we had a mini-game all about recycling in Spy Fox Free, Radioactive Trash Collector. It also happened to be the weakest of the fun games from Spy Fox. But it's hard to top Happy Fun Sub. Level 89. Pipe Dreams, love the name. Oh. How come the pipes are not solid? This you know what, whatever. Let's just take it as it comes. Sidewalk, you can't drive on that. Solid steel pipe going for the water. Oh, that just bends like rubber. Of course it does. Oh no! I knew I was gonna get eaten by the piranha at some point. Well, it depends on what type of pie and who made it. I find store-bought pies, for the most part, are not very good. Not worth the calories. If you're making the pie yourself, though, mm, then you can make it the right level of sweetness versus tartness. I don't like my apple pies just like, oh boy, I'm eating sugar. I like, I like having tart apples. Beep, 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 beep. Who's releasing the piranha? Yeehaw! <gasps> oh boy, a spy scooter. <laughs> I love it when these fiends are just lying out waiting to be picked up. 
When Quack's making us new spy scooters, he's actually just going to the easier levels and picking up the one-ups. She's like, Spy Fox, I don't know how you run out of lives so quickly. Although, honestly speaking, I haven't used the Junior Helper at all, and I have not reached a game over in this game yet, so... Maybe this means it's one of the easier ones. I do want to eventually play Backyard Basketball and Backyard Hockey on stream. I played Backyard Soccer, but that just was kind of boring. I don't think any of them are going to be nearly as good to play on stream as Backyard Baseball. Backyard Baseball just is very fun and amusing. Whereas the other games are like, oh, if you know how to play, you're just going to absolutely dominate every time. Or at least, like you saw with Backyard Baseball today, there were some stakes. Just because you play well doesn't... Oh, okay, I apparently got... Oh, no, you, no, you don't. No, you don't. When are, the, when, are they, when are those bots going to uh, get it into their head that I don't want to be famous? Although, you know, I will happily take those bots over the YouTube bots that were going around a while back. That were talking about things that are much less appropriate for my channel compared to just buying followers. Also, I don't think you guys are... Oh, that's evil. So the Whirlpool just knocks you into the tire, which then automatically knocks you in the wall? Okay, I'm just gonna follow the green cheese this time, then. Yeah. Well, there's a series of, like, streams I did on YouTube where I'm just like, okay, I gotta remember which streams the YouTube bots came in on, because I literally have to manually edit those out. We're going this way to avoid the whirlpool. Who's just dumping the crates? So, man, how have we not caught Russian Blue at this point? She hasn't had to stop for gas at all? What hit me? Oh, wait, is he still there? See you, chump. There we go. Now he's not there anymore. I forgot you can't ban from Restream. You gotta ban from Twitch directly. <laughs> No, he's, he's following me. But not on Twitch. <laughs> okay, uh, presumably I hit the crate during that last time, but it, it, it didn't look like I did. Okay, when you hit the whirlpools, your hitbox must be massively expanded. I'm not getting game overs. I have 65 extra lives. Also, I don't know if you understand this, but... Um, Games often have challenging elements to them, and thus you die during them. How did he follow me through all of that? How? There you go. Oh man, that was filled with exploding cake. Doesn't that just stink? Alright, we're gonna avoid whirlpools here. <laughs> we noticed that you were running a little low on lives. You only had 67 extra lives, so we decided to put more in the game for you, Spy Fox. Well, thanks, Quack. It really wasn't necessary, but I do appreciate it. I just like hearing the little Spy Fox jingle that plays when you pick them up. So do I. There we go. Alright. Yeah, we still got more time. Let's finish Cheese Chase. Let's go. Back to the snow world. This probably means we're going back to the flying world at the end. Won't slow me down. 
All right. Well, chills and frills. Let's row. Uh oh, we missed the giant extra fuel tank. Shebane. Great. I like how they bring back the happy fun sub loading screen as well. Okay. We go over here. We pick up the banana. I didn't even move the mouse. Alright, well. Okay! I'm just out of control, apparently. It's not a Christmas themed world, it's just winter themed. What? Can you destroy the barrels or can't you? This seems. Hmm. I probably just need to get good. All right. The shovels? I didn't move towards the shovels. It appears that the spy scooter is malfunctioning and forcing me into these shovels. Like right there, I did not move down on the mouse at all, but I just landed on it. Guess we're not going over that ramp. Yeah, I did not even touch the mouse there, and Spy Fox just on his own was like, I'm gonna move like crazy. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna avoid going over ramps from now on. <laughs> uh oh. So the danger signs you can go for, but the pickaxes you cannot. Gotcha. Mmm, -hmm. cheese and gasoline. How in the world would you get through that without grabbing the green cheese? Um, objection, Your Honor. <laughs> wow. You're lousy. Oh shoot, I missed the big gas tank. I know the pickaxes can knock you over, but... I didn't think their hitboxes were going to be that big. I don't know why I'm so surprised, though. I mean, it is a junior arcade game. It's going to have big hitboxes. Alright, the levels are definitely amping up in difficulty, that's for sure. Ooh, we're running low on gasoline. Ugh. I did not move, like, up on my pad at all, but okay. Shoot. Wasn't able to pick up the tank. Let's just... Oh no, Gilbert, I'm so sorry. Every time I set up my trinket emporium... The stupid spy fox runs it over. I think he's doing it on purpose. I swear I'm not. Whew, alright, level 91 was tricky. I think maybe my PC is just running a little slower. El Nino! Is this like Little Nino's Pizzeria? I love that book. Okay. I don't like how big your hitbox becomes when you hit a ice patch. Especially when you hit an ice patch that you literally can't avoid. Out of the way! <laughs> Spy Fox doesn't have time for these shenanigans. Whoa, 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 whoa. Thank you. <laughs> I'm on thin ice here in more ways than one, yes. <laughs> Oh my. Oh no! 
Shovels, my greatest weakness. <laughs> okay, we got weapons galore. Oh, get wrecked. You ready to get scared, Shrekless? Whatever that means. There we go. We did not destroy Gilbert's Emporium. He can sell his hot chocolate to all of the swarms of crowds that want to go and eat there. Oh wait, there was nobody in line. Maybe that's because I only just finished rebuilding after the last time you destroyed it. <laughs> Good night, DX. Sleep well. Baby, it's cold outside. I didn't realize that was the name. That's that's an interesting one. Okay, guys, that wasn't Gilbert. That wasn't Gilbert's Emporium, so it's okay. Oh, no. I'm sorry, Gilbert. You keep building your stands right in the pathway of this giant obstacle course. So I have to ask, what did you think was going to happen? You know actions have consequences. <laughs> but I think I'm going to build a hot chocolate booth in the Antarctic, where there's nobody around, right in the middle of this giant ski rail. What could go wrong? <laughs> I cannot believe people keep running over my hot chocolate stand. <laughs> I couldn't move! After I'm done with uh, Cheese Chase, I'm finishing the stream. As it is clearly saying in the stream title. There we go, we spared. Hashtag prayers for Gilbert. <laughs> we don't really need two sets of pie crates. One is more than sufficient. May I interest you in a hot chocolate today, sir? It seems to be rather cold outside. <laughs> Okay, you can't really knock these guys sideways. You kind of have to shoot them. Oh no, it seems the spy scooter has met its match. Oh wow. That is a lot of weapons. <gasps> Who's leaving these pickaxes lying around? I keep setting them up as traps to catch the one who keeps destroying my hot chocolate. Yes. Level 94, here we go. Penguins are forever. I don't think that's biblical, but... <laughs> catchy name. I do love the penguins. Whoever's calling me, it'll have to wait. I'm streaming right now. Oh boy, cakes. Cakes are my true biggest weakness. Not only do they kill me, but they look like they won't. <laughs> Those penguins all get to live. Pooh! That, that did not look... Oof. My spy watch is beeping. <laughs> Too bad I can't drink and talk at the same time. Does it drink? <laughs> I shouldn't text and drive at the same time. Also, I can't drink and drive, which is why I can't enjoy Gilbert's hot chocolate. Level 95, probably the last snow world level? Day of the Robo Snowman. Okay then. Uh. Apparently the turtle has. He's very tired of us destroying his trinket emporium, so he has laced his stall with titanium. Oh no. It lagged, and I literally couldn't see or do anything about it. So that was that. Okay, this seems like it's gonna be a very difficult level. Okay, I'm sorry. How in the world are you supposed to get through that? If they both kill you, there's not enough space. 
Okay, you can destroy the... I don't understand, but all right. Beep, 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 beep. We gotta siphon out some gasoline. I'm sorry, Gilbert. That's what you get for allying with the Robo Snowmen. That is not my voicemail. The Robo Snowmen are hogging all the gasoline. We must invade and take the oil for ourselves. In the name of peace, of course. I mean, what? Uh, it's hard to tell of you sometimes. That... Look, dude, you set up your stand in a, a spot where you literally have to destroy it if you want to get through. Beep, 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 beep. You're lousy! Sorry, dude. Ooh. I knew I should have filled up on gas before starting the spy scooter. That was a mistake. Mistake should have gone over the ramp. Sometimes the ramps are good and sometimes the ramps are bad. That's that's the real issue here. I don't know what sound alert you're talking about. Ooh. I did not come into contact with that snowman. No, the, the hitboxes are kidding, killing me here. Quite literally. Alright, they're definitely trying to end the winter levels of a tough one. That's for sure. Frosty the Snowman teamed up with Bleak. You know that guy from Donkey Kong Country Free, and they're going to wreck some havoc. <laughs> Oh, you're a lousy? That's a Waluigi voice clip, and it comes from Mario Party 6. It's his taunt if you have Annoy Mode turned on. I think it's also in Mario Party 7. That's literally what I just said. Do people not know how to talk? It's kind of what I'm learning in Twitch chat over the last couple of streams. Come on, end of the level. Oh, thank you. Wow, alright. Hopefully just five levels left. Don't go back. No! We're going back in the air. Yikes. Oh boy, alright. <laughs> just gotta stick it out for five more levels, though. Sandy Struggle. I can already tell this one's going to be appropriate. I do tend to ride the struggle bus on the air levels. There better be a really great cutscene at the end of this game. <laughs> Out of my way! Okay, alright. Somehow we got for that unscathed. <gasps> How did I not die? Ba -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Oh my gosh! Come on. 
end of the level. I don't know how we first tried that one. I'm pretty sure we should have crashed like five times, but... If you know I pointed that out, then why are you pointing that out yourself? There's no need for two people to do that. No, not three more levels. There's four more levels. 100 counts as a level. Alright, we have 600,000 points now, which is pretty cool. Surely this is going to get us the high score. Out of my way! I've gone through 90-something levels of this. Don't think I'm giving up now. Eat my bananas. How did I not crash there? I literally went right through a steel cloud. Come on, there we go. Ah, yes. All right! Three levels to go. The air levels are working out just fine right now. Sand fleas. But the different kind of flea. Let's just hope that they drive into steel clouds. That would be funny. Oh, jeepers. Jeepers creepers. Let's, let's get out of sight. Okay, wow, they have... Russian Blue is really getting, neat, really getting desperate the Craigslist ads now. How is she affording all of this? She hired like 5,000 goons and they all have their own personal flying machines. How is this possible? I, I don't know how Russian Blue can afford all the goons. She's like, once I sell this valuable cheese, I will pay you anything you want. It's like, you're not selling the valuable cheese. Thus far, we're deathless on the sky levels. I can't believe it. Arabian flights. Hey, that's also a world from Rocket Robot on Wheels. Oh, I don't know what was expect I was expecting to happen there. I very clearly drove into a wing. But I'm like, I'll probably just clip past it. Ew. The ultimate cheese chase challenge. Can you beat cheese chase without picking up any cheese? The answer is probably not. I also don't want to attempt that challenge run. Can you beat Balloonorama without popping balloons? <laughs> no. <laughs> Trying to knock me into a, a helicopter, huh? Uh oh. <laughs> How did I survive? <laughs> Once the hitboxes are being surprisingly small. Get out of my way! Okay, I guess he's coming with me to stop Russian Blue! Level 100! Here we go. I hope this is the last one. Now for Desert. <laughs> if there's more than 100 levels, then... Oof. It's gonna be, uh... It's gonna be interesting. It's also going to take another stream. There's 101 levels just to troll you. Shebane. How for desert. That is a pretty good end level name. Oh man, we just have a bunch of bananas, I just realized. <laughs> we could kind of just hold the trigger button if we wanted. Oh, 
I felt satisfying. <laughs> I didn't mean to push escape there. Scoot! Apparently if you push escape, then it just uh, quits the level. That's probably bad. I had my finger on the escape button. I don't know why I do. There's no reason for me to have my finger on the escape button. I used to have it up there to skip the cutscenes when I died on the cutscene levels, but I won't have any of those anymore. And I don't want to skip the final cutscene by accident. <laughs> there is no final cutscene. You just never catch, catch Russian Blue. Darn it. <laughs> I just misspelled the dessert. I only used one S. I love how when they, like, smash into the front of the blimp, it's like... <laughs> it's like a pie splatting sound effect. Out of my way! <laughs> How have you not gotten it into your skull that Spy Fox will save the day? Wow, this is a long last level. It's like, let's give you every weapon so you can just shoot a bunch of enemies down. There we go! <laughs> She's just eating cheese as she goes. Frosty drinks. I'd like a large frosty beverage. I said one large frosty beverage, please. I'm in a hurry. All I need is one large frosty beverage. I said one large frosty beverage, please. Ow, that poor guy's car! <laughs> Who cares about wanton damage? I got to do... S I was relevant to the plot, guys! Yay! We saved the Limburger cheese! <laughs> I just want my Dane milkshake! <laughs> that was an interesting end cutscene, but Spyfox just totaled two people's cars for no reason, just to get to Russian Blue. <laughs> Spyfox is like, I'm, here's Quack's like, I'm gonna set up a fake smoothie shop and purposefully get their order wrong over and over again, so Spyfox has enough time to catch her. <laughs> Does this mean Russian Blue would have gotten away if she just hadn't decided she really, really needed to stop by Sonic and try out the peanut butter bacon shake? That's that's canon now. She had to go to Sonic's to get that that shake. I relate because I, to this day I've never had a milkshake before, and every time I try to get one, fate always stops me from being able to get one. Wow. All right. Well, that was a uh, cheese chase was an interesting one. I think on the realm of uh, the junior arcade games, I'd put that maybe a little behind Sockworks, but definitely way ahead of Water Worries. I'd also probably put it ahead of Balloonorama. I like Balloonorama's aesthetics and music more, but Balloonorama's way more tedious to play, so there we go. But before we leave, folks, I want to see what this custom level editor is all about. How's this gonna work? Okay. Alright, interesting. So is this just like an endless...
Okay, this is... weird? Not really sure I entirely understand how this custom level editor is supposed to work. Also, if you test your level, do you not get a chance to, like, stop partway through? Oh, I see. So you can, like, actually... That makes sense. Can you change the amount of gas you start with? And you can only have three enemy types. Okay, so it is much more limited than the editor you can have for the other... Junior arcade games. Are you sure you want to reset this level? No. Okay. Uh, all right. How many can you have at once? Oh, okay. So you can have five. Oh, this is wow. You can make a. You can only have fifteen. You can't make sky levels. Interesting. So it's it's definitely a lot more primitive than the a lot of the other ones. It also seems like it's a little bit of a pain to work with, but... So, like, if we do something like this... This is absolutely, like, the kind of levels that I would make as a kid. <laughs> How long is the level gonna be, then? So you can't change the actual layout of the level. That's fixed. But you can just pull stuff in. And I guess that's alright. Again, it is a bit limited, but... At the same time, I feel like if you did this any more than this, it would be too complicated for young kids to be able to really work with, so... I'll give that a pass. That's alright. Seems like probably my least favorite out of the level editors, but... Well, what, what can you do about that? It is weird that, like, you can't test your level and go back to editing it without going back to the main menu, but... Alright. Well, there we go. So that's Spy Fox and Cheese Chase. That was an interesting uh, playthrough, and I'm glad I got to play that for the first time. So, uh, I believe on Saturday we'll be playing a randomizer, either the DK64 one or the Mario 64 one. one. One or the other. And then we'll go back to Backyard Baseball on Monday, and I'll try to figure out something else to pad the extra time at the end of Backyard Baseball. So, thanks for joining in, everybody. Hope you have a great rest of your night, and God bless.